Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, what time of the month is it? It is time for another Drew's Chili Company Special Reserve 2017 Hot Sauce. Now, if you've been following these reviews, you know that Drew, uh, Andrew Jacobson, Chef Andrew Jacobson, makes some outstanding Special Reserve sauces. Uh, he just really gets creative. Uh, every single month by producing something very unique and very different. Only makes about 50 bottles of these each month or less. Uh, so they're very special, small batch, artisan, uh, handcrafted hot sauces with uh, very unique ingredients. Uh, and this one is no exception, as you will find out on this review. This is Drew's Chocolate Maruga Scorpion Macellus Hot Sauce. Check that out from Drew's Chili Company. Love the label on this one, Drew. Just awesome. Look at that big M there on fire. Macellus. And we'll find out what that means here in a minute. But let's go ahead and get into this one. I'm uh, really excited to share this one with you guys. Um, it says on the back, warning hot. The Latin word macellus means blend or medley. And what a mixture of awesome and exciting ingredients we have assembled to create this truly original and super spicy hot sauce. The, uh, the uses for this sauce is truly is only limited to your imagination. Enjoy, Drew Jacobson. All right, now here's the ingredients on this one, guys. Uh, so listen very carefully. We're going to start off with uh, a couple of super hots in this one. Uh, we start off with the chocolate maruga scorpion. Ever eaten one of those whole? Uh, it will light you up. Believe me, it's very good though. Chocolate maruga, maruga scorpion. Then we've got grilled chilies, including. One of my favorites, poblanos, cherry peppers, bootla, ahi lemon drop, big sun habanero, yellow brain strain. He doesn't, assort, he doesn't stop there. He throws in some assorted green super hots, white wine vinegar, pickled beets. Ah, that's amazing. And this is one of the key ingredients. I'm, I'm going to focus on three key ingredients in this one, uh, very unique ingredients in this one. And here's the first one, apple butter. Drew made it himself. Apple butter, which contains apples, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. Garlic, kosher salt, fresh lemon juice, fresh lime juice, lime zest. Now here's the second key ingredient that I want to focus in on, and that is fresh ground Szechuan peppercorns. Here's the third one I want to focus on, Tela Cherry Peppers. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Mexican Vanilla Saffron. Well, I guess I could say four key ingredients. Uh, this amazing saffron. And uh, Xanthan Gum, proudly Canadian. All right. Um, now, let's talk about a few things here. Before we get into the sauce, uh, once again, Drew just really gets creative with his um, flavor profiles by using some key ingredients. I happen to have... Um, one of the uh, key ingredients I want to talk about here, and that is the Szechuan peppercorns. Um, everybody remem remember Jenny Song? Um, she sent me these. These are the best red Szechuan flower pepper or peppercorns uh, that she sent me. Um, these things are absolutely amazing. Um, and Drew used the Szechuan peppercorns in his uh, sauce. I want to shake these out and just show you, show you what they look like. Uh, extremely aromatic. Um, these things uh, give you a numbing sensation when you bite down on a couple of these. You know what I did one time and uh, I kind of wish I hadn't done it because it just uh, um, made it worse I think. As I ate a couple of, a couple of these before I did a fresh pod review, um, I think it was the year before last, uh, just to see what that would feel like because uh, this kind of uh, um, it really opens up your taste buds. Uh, try eating a couple of these things and then eat a banana. And uh, tell me if it doesn't taste better. Uh, it's just amazing. So once again, these uh, Szechuan peppercorns, um, very uh, aromatic, citrus um, smelling and tasting, and then gives you a really numbing, vibrating sensation when you uh, eat these. Uh, I think it's very cool. It's just amazing. So that's one key ingredient that uh, Drew is using in his sauce. Um, one of the other ones, the apple butter, I think that's just amazing that Drew made that himself. You know, you're thinking apple butter in a hot sauce? Yeah, it gives it some sweetness, gives it some richness um, because of all those ingredients in there, the apples, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and the, and the cloves. <laughs> but the other uh, ingredient that I want to focus in on is the uh, telecherry peppers. You, ever, you know what those are? 
Those are black peppercorns, but you think Drew's going to just use simple black peppercorns, you know, where we get our black pepper from in this hot sauce? No, he's going to do something special. He's going to use the the more flavorful, the telecherry uh, peppercorns. There's a picture of them right there. And the telecherry peppercorns are black peppercorns uh, from India. Um, but they represent, a, they're from the same vine that you get regular black peppercorns from, but they represent about 10% or less of the whole crop. What telecherry tele peppercorns are is they're bigger. They're bigger size than just your regular, um, regular black peppercorns. And so with the bigger size, you lose a little bit of heat, but you gain a tremendous amount of flavor from uh, the, the bigger peppercorn. Uh, they're they're uh, more citrus flavor, very aromatic, um, and chefs just love them. You get lemon, lime, um, and orange citrus notes uh, that come with, with the uh, telecherry uh, peppercorns. I think that's very cool. And then, of course, saffron. I just love saffron. Um, it's just amazing. I just love it. So let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, check out the awesome look to this one guys beautiful looking um consistency very smooth and you can see some of the uh spices that are in there this has got a nice dark color to it all right let's check out the aroma once again the chocolate maruga scorpion macellus blended hot sauce oh wow and now one thing that um Drew is good at is just really layering flavors in a hot sauce. Um, he is so good at what he does. It's just amazing. And sometimes you think, you know, do you really need all of those ingredients? Well, you know, it does something to the to the hot sauce. And now, <clears throat> the first time I smelled this, I really picked up on the chocolate maruga scorpion for some reason. I did. Um, you could definitely smell the super hots in this a little bit. Uh, but it has just got such an awesome aroma on it that uh, you pick up something um, every time you smell it. Sometimes I get kind of the, maybe the pickled flavor a little, a little bit. Um, I get a sweetness. But I think the main thing that, uh, excuse me, main thing that this sauce has given to me, I think it's that apple butter because of the spices that are in the apple butter. Because at times I get kind of the, uh, the cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, spiciness. That comes up from this that you that you smell you pick that up now it, i think it's just impossible to say okay i can pick up the black peppercorns or the the telly cherry peppers i can pick up the saffron i i can't um i definitely think that i can pick up on the mexican vanilla in this because at times it's just a nice sweetness that comes up from it that's just amazing so i think this one once again kind of like last month's um the Vul vulcanique hot sauce is that it's rich, it's savory, it's citrusy, it's sweet, um, it's spicy. You get all of those because of the different layers of flavors that are in here. I think it's absolutely amazing. All right, well, let's show you what it looks like. And this is another thing I want to talk about <clears throat> is just look how beautiful this sauce is and how it pours. Check that out. Just a nice richness to it. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and taste it. Mm, smooth and creamy. Definitely pick up on those super hots in here. It's not overly hot. It's not crazy hot. Now, another thing that I wanted to kind of um, mention on this review is I think it's taken me several months to really get and understand what Drew Jacobson is doing. Um, his hot sauces are very fine. They're finished. Uh, they've got a, just a beautiful look to them. In other words, he tightens everything up. He just doesn't slap things together and put it in a bottle uh, without any regard or, or caring about how it's going to look, how it's going to pour, how it's going to look on food. I think Drew is a master at taking all of that into consideration. He wants it to be a finished sauce, a finished product. Not only taste good, smell good, but look good. And uh, that's, I think you understand what I'm talking about, Drew. Um, but just amazing job at what he does. Um, takes the time to make sure that this is really a finished product that looks as good as it smells and, and smells as good as it tastes and everything. Um, definitely can pick up on the sweetness, I think, from the apple butter. It's got a nice warmth, a nice glow to it, a nice 
a nice burn, not crazy hot at all, but it's definitely upper medium, I'd say, for the chili head. Flavor on this is just really, really good. I think Volcanique and um, this one, the Macellus hot sauce, are my two favorites so far this year. Um, just really, really good. You can tell that he puts a lot of time, attention uh, to detail in each one of his sauces. Um, you can definitely pick up on the garlic in here as well. Uh, but just an awesome uh, list of ingredients. I can't say that I get a numbing effect uh, because of the Szechuan uh, peppercorns that are in here, but uh, it's spicy, it's rich, it's sweet, it's savory. Um, it's just everything. It's all of those things. Um, and let me show you what I uh, put this on. I thought this would really go good together. It's because of the, the saffron and the Szechuan peppercorns and uh, uh, just thought it would be really good on some Asian food. So I put this on top of some chicken fried rice I love to top chicken fried rice with a um, sunny side up egg and had that with a pork egg roll and put this sauce on top. When I mixed that together with the with the fork and started eating it, it was amazing. Actually added quite a bit more to it as well. But fantastic product, highly recommended. Um, if you've never tried any of Drew's sauces, uh, you've got to try these. You've got to try to get some of these. They're just outstanding. Uh, this is outstanding. Excellent sauce. Really, really good. Okay, uh, heat, um, I'm going to give this a strong 6, an upper 6 out of 10, approaching a 7 out of 10 uh, for heat. It's not blistering hot, but it's definitely upper medium on my 1 to 10 scale, but great job on this, Drew. Thank you so much for sending it. Guys, I'll put the link down in the description. I believe this will be available October, not October, August the 1st. First, Gosh, you don't want to wait that long. So it will be available um, August the 1st unless he releases it early. Uh, Drew's known to do that. But uh, make sure you check this one out, guys. This is some good stuff. All right. Drew, thank you very much once again. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more. And until the next time, you know what to do. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.